Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool wooden paddle boat. It uses an elastic band to power it. And I made the whole thing out of lollipop sticks, or popsicle sticks as you may call them. Start by taking a stick, measure it, and use a knife to cut it in half. If it's too hard to cut all the way through, you can score it, and it should snap on the line. Next, take another couple of sticks and put the pieces you just cut in between, like this. We're going to fix these together by cutting some more sticks to the right length. And I'm using a glue gun to add the adhesive. I'm putting four strips of wood across the front, like this. Then a couple more at the back, here. I'm also adding a couple of short pieces here and here, leaving a small gap in the middle, and repeating this on the other side. It's not at all critical, but the gap in my boat measures about 3.7cm by 2cm wide. Next I'm taking another stick, which I'm going to fix on about here, but first we need to cut it to length. So I marked it with a pencil, and used my knife again. I added some glue and fixed it into position. And did exactly the same on the other side. This is going to be the bottom of our boat, and this is the top. And to finish the top, I'm going to add a small amount more glue and stick on these last two bits. When it's all dry, it should look like this. And that's the main structure of our boat complete. I'm using my knife to tidy up any edges and shape the wood a bit. If you're trying this, do be careful not to cut yourself. I'm also shaping the front into more of a boat shape with a pointy bow. I streamlined the sticks underneath a bit, and smoothed it all with some sandpaper. It's quite a fun and rewarding process, and when you're done, it looks like this. To make the paddle, you need to cut another stick slightly shorter than the gap in the boat. And cut another one exactly the same length. Then line them up, and I'm pinching mine together in a vise because we need to cut a groove straight down the centre, just over halfway down the sticks. Clean up the groove a little, and they should look like this. Then shape the end a bit more with your knife, and smooth off any rough edges. When you've done this with both of them, they're ready to slot together. If you need to adjust the length at all, you can smooth it out with some sandpaper. Next we need to fit our rubber band. So thread it through the hole here, then straight over and through the hole on the other side. Then I'm hooking each end of the rubber band over the back corners of the boat. And we're now ready to fit the paddle. Just open up the bands, and slide it in between, like this. And that's our homemade paddle boat complete. Pretty cool, huh? The idea is, you wind up the elastic band by turning the paddle, then drop it in the water, and off it goes. So let's give it a try. I filled up the bath, 
and wound up the boat. When I put it in the water, it shot off, but didn't go for very long. I tried it again and got the same results. So this time I tried winding up the band with a lot more turns. This made a real difference. The boat goes for a lot longer, and it's really quite quick. And if you line it up with the edge of the bath, it even goes round the corner. This would be a great fun project to make with kids. You could try using it in a paddling pool, or maybe even in a swimming pool. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.